Hello. Rise up in hope today. We have been talking about gifts and today we are going to have our devotional based on the gift of delay. Delay. The gift of delay. I have a question for us. I want you to think of a time or a situation in your life that your prayer seemed delayed in getting answered. Think of a time or a situation in your life that your prayer seemed delayed in getting answered. I'm going to begin with Psalm 4. I want to read this first and then we're going to go somewhere in the word where their prayer seemed delayed. Psalm 4. Answer me when I call to you, O oh, my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have you ever been there? Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. How long, O oh men, will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and seek false gods? Know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call to him. The Lord will hear when I call to him. So know that when you are praying, God is listening. He's always listening and he hears you. I wrote down some things about delays. Our delays are God's perfect timing. Our delays are God's perfect timing. Sometimes delays actually means no, but sometimes delayed just means delayed, not yet. It's not time yet. All of the pieces aren't ready to be put in the puzzle. So there is a delay. It doesn't mean no, it just means not yet or not now. I want us to turn to John, John chapter 11, John chapter 11. Verse four, there are many times in the word. And can you think of times? Think about all of the stories that we've read in the Bible. Think of times where things were delayed. Things were delayed. And I'm sure that there will be many suggestions because God is in the business of his perfect timing, which sometimes to us actually looks like a delay or a no but it's just God's perfect timing. And that is encouraging. That is encouraging if right now you've been praying and you've been praying, you've checked your heart and there's nothing in your heart that there's no sin hidden. And you know, you think you're, you know, you got a clean slate. So what's going on, God? God is doing something behind the scenes that he's not revealing to us because he's God and he doesn't have to. He only gives us what he wants to give us. And that's love too. I mean, think about it. If your children come and sit down at the table and they want to know all your business, are you going to tell them all your business? No, you're going to tell them what you want them to know or what's good for them to know. How much more will our heavenly father do that? So here we are in John 11, and it is one of the most beautiful stories in the, in the Bible, um, we're going to begin reading in verse 32. It is Lazarus and the sisters. And already Martha has met Jesus. Jesus has been delayed. Martha has met him in verse 21 and says, Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know even now God will give you whatever you ask. So she does that. And then she goes and tells Mary, Jesus is here. And we're going to pick up reading in verse 32. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When, she, when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. Then, then the Jews said, see how he loved him? But some of them said, could not he open the eyes of the blind man? No, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? 
Verse 38, Jesus once more deeply moved came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been there for four days. Then Jesus said, did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you have sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! Exclamation point. The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. The delayed prayer, the gift of delay. That was a gift of delay because so many other things started to stir in the pot. So many people, their hearts changed because of what they saw. That is a gift from God. So delays are gifts, friends, if we see them like that. And when he came out, they all got to see the glory of the Lord. They all got to embrace the miracle of Jesus. And I just want to point out here in verse 41, Jesus says, Father, I thank you. And even when we had the very first day of gifts, the gift of today, and gratitude. I mentioned gratitude. And here Jesus looks up and says, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. You always hear me. Are we thanking God for what he's not answering? And I think that when we position ourselves in gratitude, all oh, heaven is, God is pleased. He is pleased because that's saying, I trust you, God. I trust you. I will let you take as long as you need. Give me the strength to endure the delay because this delay is a gift and it's your perfect timing. We can learn so much from this. We can learn so much from this, friends. If you are in a delayed situation right now, know that God is, an he's listening. He has an answer for you. It's either yes, no, not now. Yes, no, not now. So trust him. And also he has his best for you. If we get in front of God in delays, then we step in and we, we miss it. We miss the victory of the whole thing, the, the blessing of the way God wants to work it out. So the gift of delay, you know, I was reminded driving here to Florida from North Carolina, we had taken our drive and we got into Atlanta and there was a 20 car wreck. It was an hour to an hour and a half of no movement, and um, we could have let that uh, discourage us, but instead we began to pray because when we realized nothing's going on and they kept, we kept seeing all of these ambulances, so we just began to pray for the people in, in the wreck, not having any idea that it was 20 cars. We could have been in that wreck. But God delayed us getting to that place. I know that there are many of you that have miracle stories like that. If I would have been five minutes later, this would have happened. So let us be aware that delay is a gift from God. Oftentimes, delay is a gift from God. And we don't have to uh, be discouraged in our delays right now. Don't be discouraged if your prayer isn't getting answered the way you want. Thank God for what he's doing. Thank God for the delay and catch all the other gifts that are going on in the process. And there was one other time that I, I was just writing down here, you know, when was there a time when I was sick in 2015? Ah, it felt like, it felt like it just kept getting bad to worse, to worse, to worse, to worse. And I was like, ah. But when I look back now, oh, thank God. I praise you, God, that there's a now that I can look back and, and, and see what went on there. There were so many gifts in the delay, so many helps, so many uh, blessings from people, from, from places I had no idea God was setting up. 
a chance for everybody to work together. And it really was the body of Christ coming together in prayer and provision and, and hope. And um, I learned a lot. And if I would have had my answer right away, I wouldn't have learned that. I think here, Mary and Martha could say the same thing. If they would have, if Jesus would have been there, look at what have what have t been taking place so that not all of the blessings that were worked out in that delay, they would have been aborted. They would have been aborted. So the delay is a gift. The delay is a gift. If you have to say it 10 times today, God, the delay is a gift. The delay is a gift. The delay is a gift. You're doing something. You're doing something. I thank you. Instead of, man, my prayers never get answered. I guess, I mean, just all this negativity, the devil just feeds you lies, lies, lies. Cut them off. God, this delay is yours. You're in it. You're always in it. You're always hearing me, just like Jesus said. But I'm going to trust you. I'm going to trust you and believe that de the delay is for everybody involved and for people I don't even know that are involved. We get a glimpse. God has the big picture. And because God has the big picture, we can see it as a gift today, friends. So, the gift of delay. Think of a time or situation in your life that seemed to be delayed in getting answered. How's your attitude? Remember, if your attitude needs an adjustment for the glory of God, adjust. In that delay, what are the other gifts? In this delay going on right now in your life, what are the other gifts you're receiving? God loves it when we remember. He loves it when we when we acknowledge him in every situation. So, Father, thank you. Thank you for this word. Thank you for the understanding that delay is your perfect timing and that as long as we position ourselves and we trust you in it, you will receive your glory all the way through. Thank you, God. Thank you for this word of encouragement. We give you honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow.